Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, your automotive advisor here at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And here behind me, I'm gonna have a 2022 Honda Civic LX. I'm gonna walk around this vehicle, show you guys all the cool standard features and functions, so when you arrive at the dealership, you know exactly what this vehicle has before you take it out for a test drive. Now, if you guys have any questions, you know what to do, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions. And for those who are in the market, Right over here is my contact information. I'll show you how easy it is to join the crazy Honda Chris family here at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, all right? Now let's go show you all the cool bells and whistles. All right, so here we are right outside the 2022 Honda Civic LX. We're gonna walk up here to the Maroni sticker as usual. You guys are welcome to pause the video right about there to explore on your own. Now up on the top right hand corner talks about your fuel economy. 31 for the city, 40 for the highway, 35 for a combined. Right down here, right now it's not rated, but you'll see it in the future. Safety ratings, sneak right over here. This particular car that we're looking at right now is made in Canada. And then the price point, and then the list of standard features, all right? Down on the right-hand corner, I will post some other color options. This is meteorite gray metallic. I will also post with those additional colors, if they have additional charge for those colors, with that down below. Come stand with two key fobs here for you. We'll step here towards the front of the vehicle. All of your Honda sensing features come standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, your road departure, and your forward collision. And we also have traffic jam assist. So that's gonna be amazing. You're gonna have a uh, four cylinder 2.0 non-turbo with a CVT. We'll step right down here. You got those LED lights all the way around. I'm talking about your daytime running lights, headlights, tail lights. So that's gonna be nice. Everything's LED. Check out that front nose a little bit. I'm telling you guys, if you see this in person, it's a lot nicer than actually in video or photos. We'll step right over here, off to the side, you got these steel 16 inch rims with full cover caps. Step back here so you can see a, a side profile. We got body colored mirrors and handles, a little bit of chrome action right up there on the top. We'll step right here off to the side capless gas tank so when the car is unlocked you simply push that in there we go now let's see if I lock it all up right that locks right there all right there we go it's a simple slide and go no longer two dollar capture argue debate with cut your time in half and messing around over here we'll step here towards the back side now once again you have those LED tail lights which makes a bold statement as you apply onto the brakes for safety of course then we have a multi-angle rear camera We'll step here towards the side profile. As you see, within the uh, trunk lid, you got a nice little lip that kind of curves out for a little spoiler, built right into it. Kind of nice little finish. We have a trunk release button right here. Pop this right open. Look at that. Plenty of space for storage. It's life happens, challenge accepted. You need more space. You got a bench seat right down there. Just pull this, get over there and pull that right back down. Then down below, you can have your spare tire with additional tools. You got an emergency funnel just in case. Now let's say I keep my uh, key fob in my purse, my jacket, you know, whatever the case. I just like to throw it in there for the video and shut the door. As you can see, you cannot lock your keys in the trunk. Those days are over. So no more. All right. So there's the back. We'll step over here towards the back seat. Open this right up for you guys. Take a little gander here. Cloth, you guys know about power windows. A little additional cubby space down below. That's the door. We'll zoom right over here. Nice cloth seats. Carpet mats come standard. Now we're going to have some airbags right here. Then don't forget you're still going to have your curtain airbags too, okay? So we have additional airbags with this compared to our 10 Gen for the 2021 Honda Civics. Now we're going to step over here towards the front. Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris. Sorry to interrupt the video. I just want to say thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys' support. And once again, if you guys are in the market, you know what to do. Here's my phone number. Give me a quick courtesy call. Any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best. And don't forget to help me by showing your support by hitting like and subscribe. Now let's get back to the video, all right? Open this right up here. Let's say if you accidentally, you know, 
Oops, dropped my keys, left my purse in there, gym bag, whatever you guys could be doing for any crazy reason, your keys in there, you shut the door after locking it, it automatically senses that key fob unlocks so you cannot accidentally lock your key fob in the car. So that's gonna be great. Now also, these mirrors right here, body color mirrors are gonna be a breakaway. So you can manually fold these mirrors in if you need to for the tight parking spot in the garage. Opens right back up. We'll come over here at the door. Got some additional cubby space down below. You guys know about power windows, power locks. You got two autos right there for driver and passenger seat. Just in case you don't want to misbehave, you can lock their windows. This is all easy and straightforward. Left and right, the D-pad to select what you want to change from there. And then we'll focus right down here. You're going to have your trunk release. We're going to come over here to the driver's seat. It's going to be a manual seat, so you got your pump action. A little easier to grab. You got your recline. Squeeze bar is going to be right up front, so you grab that. You can slide forward and back. Then your hood release is going to wrap around right here and pull that towards you. So once again, nice cloth seats. We're going to jump right in and start it up. It's going to be a push button start, so make sure you have the key fob with you when you get in and out of the car. I had it. Put your foot down on the brake, hit the start button, and watch everything light up. All right, we'll come over here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel real quick to focus on this. You're gonna have a way to adjust the brightness of your driver's interface. So as we kind of get right up here and play around a little bit, you can see that. You got your vehicle stability assist. You got a little quick point reference to change any of your, uh, of your uh, sensing features. We'll select that, it's right there. So you got your road departure, right now it's off. Let's turn that on. Forward collision magnetic braking, and it takes you right there. So you got those two options. If you want to change those settings on the fly, simple of a click of a few buttons. Adjustable vent right over here, nice little honeycomb. Once it's center, it clicks for you. Nice soft touch on these. Feels pretty good. It's closed. Kind of open up a little bit. Now your steering wheel adjustment. It's gonna be here off to the side. Release. It's going to be a telescope, so it goes in, out, up, down, just as you see fit. Now we're going to come over here to your wipers. And as you pull down, pull up, it's going to do a quick little wipe. Over here it's going to be for your headlights, you got auto headlights. Now we're going to focus over here on the right hand side of the steering wheel. You got your cruise control button, it's going to be this. You can see when that's uh, on right there in the center. Then you can set your cruise control. You got a nice little dial right here. Just push right down. It's automatically going to set you to 25 miles an hour. Adjust the speeds from that point. Increase, decrease, cancel. You have your adaptive cruise control right here. So as I'm selecting this, let's kind of focus on the driver's interface. You can see the distance that we're selecting between you and the car in front of you. More lines means further, less lines mean closer. Now let's say I'm going 35 miles an hour, the car in front of me is going 30, it finds the car is gonna beep, alert me, slow me down and keep me at that distance. Once they get out of the way, guess what? I resume back to my cruise control, all right? So that's gonna be pretty nice. Now you can simply turn that off if you like to. As you can see right there, I have it on standard cruise control. What I have done is just simply click and hold this button down here. Now you can see that the ACC mode is selected, it is on, it give you a visual confirmation right over there off to the side quick. Now we're gonna have your lane keeping assist right here for your highway driving. As you select that, simple on or off. Let you know right there. So once you go in the proper speed, um, it's gonna have lines right up here to let you know. Once it finds lines on the road and it'll be filled in white lines. Uh, so when you grab your lane a little bit, it's gonna notify you and then bring you back too. Over here on this side, you're gonna have more of your controls. You got your home menu button. We're gonna quietly thumb through some of this stuff. Kind of start back up to the top. It looks like there's no top. All right, let's start right here. It's gonna warn me when I need to take a break. Seat belt. I have all position seat belt reminder. So if I got someone sitting in any of those seats, I'm gonna have a red X if they're not buckled up. Once they buckle up. It will change from red to green or white.
settings. You can customize all your vehicle settings right in here. All right, we'll come back out here towards the steering wheel. Once again, you got all of your music controls, everything from right here. You got your volume knob, you got your source, changing from station, stuff like that, all right there, all right? Then we'll come focus right over here off to the side. You got a nice seven inch touch screen. You got your phone stuff right here. You can pair up, pair up multiple phones. You got your radio options. You got okay. AM, FM, okay. all right there. You got your media options. You don't have a CD player, but you can download your music or books, whatever the case is, any audio you want. On the flash drive, then it's a simple plug and play from there. Bluetooth. Connection, you got your smartphone connection, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is standard Apple CarPlay. Simple plug your phone in, then plug it in down there and you're set for success. Android Auto, just download Android Auto first, allow all the permissions. Then it would take like your compatible apps while charging your devices from there. Then you have like your navigation and other stuff from there. So that's kind of nice. Or any music that you have on your phone. All right. Little sneak peek right in there where it's underneath the settings. You got your volume control, power button, tuner, and everything's right there, all right? We'll come down here, you got your hazard lights, just in case you need those. You got your adjustable vents, once again. It's nice, firm, it clicks, pretty nice. We also got one way over there. We'll come down here towards your climate control. Fan speed, different modes, gives you a little visual. Everything's a nice little clicking going on. Air circulation, front defroster, rear defroster, AC on or off. Come right down here, we have a USB plug-in, 12 volt plug-in. Nice little tray. Come right down, nice little shifter going on. So park, reverse, as we put it into reverse. Your multi-angle rear camera automatically displays right here. So you have a nice 180 view, you can catch some more of your blind spot. And then you have a right behind you view then a straight down shot from your rear bumper. Now with all these, you can see your rear bumper. This would be great as you're backing up into a parking spot, backing up next to a wall, or just parking a car on the lot after test driving. Bumper once again, and then you can see bumper. As you turn your wheel, guess what? Those guidelines turn as well, so that's kind of nice. And they change colors to let you know your tires are now line. All right, so you got your neutral, you got your drive, then you have a sport drive. All right, changes the gear ratio, make it more fun, throwable response. Now, what's in sport, you cannot use your idle stop. So for those who are saying, Chris, I don't want my idle stop to always be activating, stuff like that, put it in sport mode. Or you just hit this button right here to shut off your idle stop. Now, you have a low gear drive too as well for those steep hills and mountains, whatever kind of crazy stuff you could be doing. Low gear right there. You have a nice texture going on around this. Feels kind of nice. Cup holders, we have econ mode. As you smack that econ mode, right over here, you get a nice little green leaf on the dash, right? I hit it again, it's off. Econ's gonna change how the car is gonna perform by nerfing the power of your AC, electrical power, and acceleration power to give you better fuel economy, mostly effective for your highway driving. All right, so you may see anywhere from two to four more miles to a gallon, depending on how aggressive you're driving in your vehicle, okay? Now also corresponding with that, you, know, you will have a fuel efficiency backlight, no matter if this is on or off, it'll come up right up there above the zero. Um, it's gonna go from white to green. Uh, green's being that you're fuel efficient, all right? So that's gonna be kind of nice, then from green to white when you're not. So as a visual coach, and you can turn that off. Check out my tips and trick video right up there. It will show you how to adjust everything from there, all right? You got your speed odometer right here. You got your fuel right down there below, just in case for you guys. We'll come right down here. You have electrical parking brake. And then you have a hold brake. Simply when I have my seatbelt plugged right in, I got the car on. Anytime I get to a complete stop, it holds that brake for me so I can take my foot off the brake and I step on the gas and automatically releases. So that's going to be great as I'm waiting for a train or with stop and go traffic. We have a nice cloth armrest. Open this right back up. You got a nice little tray here that you can adjust if you wanted to, a couple different places, or just throw it out. And right down below, you got plenty of deep storage space right down there this tray will come out if you like it to simply if you you know made a mess got to clean it up a little bit it's kind of a nice 
suction right down there, but you can pull this right out, okay? Snaps right back in. So there we go. Kind of step a little back a little bit, let you guys see the dash. I mean, in my opinion, for the LX, for the 2022s, actually have stepped up their game quite a bit. It doesn't feel like a cheap or a downgrade version of the Honda Civic because you don't have that little small, small screen. The Sport, the EX is going to have the same screen set up right here. All right, so that's really nice LED lights. You get the same kind of, you know, appearance, so that's pretty nice. You get the illusion they have more space right over here. Uh, just the way it's kind of designed within the dash. Open this right up. I feel like I have the same amount of space right in here. I fill it up, forget about whatever's in there. I do that on a daily basis. Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video here on the 2022 Honda Civic LX. If you guys have any questions, you know what to do. Drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions. I'd like to hear also down in the comments, guys, what are your thoughts about the Honda Civic LX, especially if you about this color, just anything in general, all right? Now, you guys are in the market, you know what to do. Right over is my contact information. I'll see you guys at the next video, all right? Bye-bye.